Uh, today, uh, hi everyone. Uh, myself, Sanjay Lamba, and uh, I'm working as a scientist uh, at uh, Tata Institute for Genetic and Society. Our institute is uh, new, and we are working for uh, no societal problems. And we have, uh, you know, like funding from Tata Trust, and we are our organization is a non-profit organization. So today, my talk um, basically on uh, SARS COVID, and we uh, recently developed early warning system to track and detect SARS COVID by using wastewater samples. And I'm explaining at here how is uh, useful for us and how it's uh, working uh, to detect uh, SARS COVID uh, not only and another pathogen also. So I'm explaining at here. So. First of all, what is waste uh, wastewater? Uh, we need to understand. So wastewater for, uh, from household buildings, such toilet, uh, toilets, shower, sink, and contain human feces uh, waste, as well as that uh, you know the like commercial relay relays in uh, rivers and open drains. So so water contain uh, you know the like uh, name is waste. Uh, water is means you know the like uh, 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 water is available in that open drains and sewage uh, water we use for uh, our uh, analysis so how it works see that like symmetric diagram the commercial thing and uh, daily life we are whatever we are consuming for uh, food drugs and any health related issues those are go through extract uh, through our body release in biotolate and uh, that feces is go to through that uh, sewage uh, treatment plant sewage through that uh, going to an, a sewage treatment plants so where you know the, like uh, we collect samples from this sewage treatment plants so after this sewage treatment plants they treat this water and release for agriculture field or another commercial purpose so how uh, we are working on this one what kind of uh, workflow we are following so we collect and treated water samples then we uh, sample concentration so we dilute you know the like uh, after collecting we dilute the samples so that one is not harmful for uh, those uh, candidates are picking and collect the samples do so not for harmful for another persons so in further we are going for rna extraction and rt pcr tests you normally available uh, aware about that uh, covid rt pcr tests so we have certain uh, uh, kits uh, for wastewater we are using similar type of clinical rt pcr kits for testing for uh, uh, sars covid and we got result in form of viral load so viral load in sense that like certain threshold so above the threshold, uh, threshold, it's showing that any value that is indicating to positive or, uh, and uh, uh, below the threshold is uh, uh, showing is negative. So it means, you know, like when we go for uh, RT-PCR test for uh, SARS-CoV, so that one is, you know, the RT-PCR positive uh, for uh, person is infected for COVID. So it means you know, above the threshold value, it's going uh it's showing high so it means uh, that person is infected of sars covid so what history of wastewater and uh, first time uh, wastewater uh, surveillance used for polio vaccine vaccination and they in us 1960s and they uh, evaluate the effectiveness of polio vaccine through uh, wastewater surveillance in India, first time uh, used in Mumbai 2001, and uh, this similar type of polio surveillance uh, set up for uh, Swiss uh, for uh, environmental surveillance. In uh, you know, the, like the recent we uh, uh, detect uh, polio in uh, West Bong West Bengal, Howrah, by using uh, Swiss uh, Swiss samples. So. So things is that in one sided India is declared polio free country and free certification in uh, 2014 and uh, but after that we uh, detect uh, um, polio virus in May to 2022 that why uh, polio virus is not a major concern but you know the like detect in uh, through wastewater which means something is ongoing on that particular place in Kolkata and uh, that one is need to monitor 
so uh, world wise uh, so uh, why people are using uh, wastewater surveillance for world wise they you see that like in american region and european region in multiple city in india also australia many countries are uh, using uh, wastewater surveillance for uh, tracking that mon tracking and uh, monitoring uh, sars cov and this one it's uh, not only for sars cov it's helpful for another uh, pathogen for example influenza hiv monkey pox cholera and now major concern is antimicrobial resistance so uh, we are using daily life uh, anti uh, antibiotics over the counters uh, without any doctor prescription so that one is uh, dangerous for our life you know the, like uh, daily life we are using this uh, anti uh, antibiotics that one is uh, after a certain time it's occur resistance so that kind of uh, resistance is also we moni monitor uh, that particular local hot spot area that in this area is m many people are consuming anti antibiotic and we need to monitor and, and implement control measures so you see that at here is trajectory simple time series and uh, one side it is red one is denoted uh, covid positive cases in bangalore the period of one year uh, august to 2021 to uh, august 2022 so you see that like uh, well, wastewater based on wastewater our normalized viral load so what is mean uh, normalized viral load we uh, whatever uh, rt pcr give to us uh, raw viral load we uh, estimate as per the population size uh, in particular uh, area and that one is called uh, normalized viral load and you see that normalized viral load so many spikes uh, in blue trajectory in compared to our clinical uh, testing and that one is indicating that like during the certain period time it's a uh, high infection in particular area uh, in the bangalore so in later slide uh, i will show that like in local world wise also how it's implement and uh, works for us so in aspect of uh, cost effective it's very very uh, you know the like very very cost effective uh, approach and uh, this approach uh, multiple uh, countries uh, using for this why one particular reason is that cost effective also so one particular one, uh, one year period uh, in rt pcr cost uh, in uh, bangalore you know uh, near about 4500 millions rupees uh, invest government and our uh, surveillance strategy less than 4 million uh, for the one year so and uh, however we consider uh, one particular rt pcr cost uh, uh, for 400 at the government center that one is uh, bad in our aspect it's very half one you know the like half million per month it's near about five lakhs uh, rupees uh, need to monitor whole bangalore city so it's very very uh, cost effective also so uh, in multiple challenges and uncertainty and variability for uh, wastewater surveillance, well, how, what kind of challenges we are facing and what kind of, uh, uh, you know, the like approach analysis. So it's new things for us also. So no, no, not so much uh, study is done in this area because that uh, after uh, polio surveillance, the people are not using this one. and. It, that certain regions why the people you know like uh, the population size mobility and that uh, setting during the profile in the city wise you know the like per capita wastewater how much wastewater release for particular uh, in world wise how much so that kind of information you know they're like not to uh, the updated in the particular cities uh, like for our country so we are lucky in the bangalore we have certain things it's available so proportion of population vaccinated or previously infected so now that uh, government of karnataka is uh, updating that like uh, uh, very good database for that um, that particular uh, information is available online publicly also so certain things for uh, uh, related to uh, groundwater rainfall so huge rainfall is also uh, yeah, due to that like uh, our samples are also dilute and we did not uh, detect the SARS-CoV or anything in wo uh, water. 
so uh, chemical so many uh, you know the like factories are really uh, release the chemical uh, so many chemicals in water temperature and uh, high temperature is also uh, decay and leakage for any sewage water that contaminant of our samples so how much sampling uh, you know for example in ba bangalore how much sample we need to just like uh, required for through that uh, period of time and you know the volume we need uh, frequency of you know the how many uh, time we need one month uh, or weekly by day we need to sampling and what kind of sampling methods and main thing is that like we need to identify the main hole where we need to collect the samples that one is also very important task you know the like sewage network is like our hairs you know the like so much complex and we do not know where we collect the samples we identify the main holes where we need to collect sample that one is also very uh, challenging for us and analyze what kind of uh, uh, methods and uh, modeling approaches we need to implement to um, got results as soon as possible that one is also challenging and identify that like you know what kind of threshold uh, we are considering for the based on the wastewater is also very uh, challenging so overview of uh, my talk uh, we are working uh, for multiple city for example bangalore hyderabad nagpur pune so we have very good funding from uh, rocker filler foundation so last uh, uh, i am working on uh, for two uh, city uh, for bangalore and hyderabad and uh, that modeling uh, point of view so in bangalore we are collecting samples from sewage treatment plants and we we have very good uh, local government supports also from swiss board and municipal corporation and hyderabad we don't have local government support so therefore we are uh, uh, collecting sample from open drains so in later slide uh, i will explain uh, how much uh, uh, you know the like sample size and uh, how many uh, uh, sites we targeted for that samples and why so in further after collection of uh, samples we go for the simple process i already explained in uh, previous slides workflow and we follow that workflow and we develop early warning system so what is early warning system early warning system is not like that uh, one part oh, part is closely monitor early detection uh, and uh, mainly thing is that uh, timely response to counter uh, emerging sars cov variants uh, different type of virus you know the like we detect through wastewater we need to inform to uh, communication with the uh, stakeholders for example our stakeholder is local government uh, body and we need to regularly uh, inform uh, every week we inform and they based on our uh, analysis they take decision and based on our bangalore study um, uh, one article is our published in lancet and that one is recently so i am going to talk about right now for uh, wastewater surveillance for sars covid for stps bangalore actually and that uh, that map is showing that the red dot is covered uh, more than 80% of bangalore you see that like total wastewater generation is all through bangalore is 1440 megaliters and our stp uh, 28 stps is cover near about 1142 uh, uh, megaliter waters it's uh, almost 80% uh, coverage of bangalore and through that one uh, we monitor 12 million uh, projected uh, population by using a 28 stp uh, so, uh, collecting the samples and i am presenting at here uh, the period of 6 months june, january 2022 to june 22 and we are currently also working on this one and monitoring not only for sars covid we another pathogen and um, my uh, collaborator my colleague uh, dr fara istia lead on genomic part i am lead on uh, mathematical modeling part and we have certain expert also professor uma from ram krishna uh, am krishna is from ncbs and uh, vishwanath is uh, from biomac environmental trust he is a wastewater expert actually and we uh, focus on certain uh, 
primary objectives. So regularly we are tracking, uh, track the SARS-CoV-2 in Bangalore city and provide early warning sign at, at the local uh, ward wise also, local, out, uh, local outbreak. And based on that uh, wastewater samples, we uh, predict the number of uh, infected individuals and uh, generate that special and temporal heats. Those are, you know, the, like uh, how much, uh, what kind of uh, new emerging variants in community and uh, identify of uh, local hotspot at the local level integrated with the healthcare system for long term monitoring we are also doing. So our uh, uh, analysis uh, shared with local government. After that, they compare with the clinical, uh, you know, the like uh, ICU patient. How many uh, in this area, in particular hospital? How many patient admit for which variant kind? So that information they match and they take uh, necessary measures. So what kind of uh, methods we are using uh, for that developing early warning system? So first thing we normalize viral load. So why we need to more normalize? Uh, so particular one sample, it's uh, we estimate raw viral load. Based on the raw, raw viral load, we compute for the aspect of population size. So that we need to require, you know, the particular uh, STP uh, flow, wastewater flow uh, rate, and as well as the population uh, size in particular area. So, based on wastewater samples, we estimate uh, the uh, infected individual. Those are setting virus. So, main thing is uh, in, uh, through wastewater surveillance, we uh, identify those who have. Uh, symptoms those uh, don't showing any symptom those people are also setting virus and that one whole information uh, and by uh, snapshot is available for in front of us so we uh, compute uh, that by using this formula and this formula is uh, uh, using that particular one person uh, 128 uh, gram feces release every day you know that like we are releasing near about uh, 128 feces so one person you know the like 110 to power uh, seven rna copies uh, of feces uh, that one is we are taking reference from the uh, particular study in our estimate uh, uh, in bangalore uh, 100, 100 liter per day person using consume water in that uh, aspect on whole whole day for the toilet bath and shower and uh, every aspect so based on that information we uh, estimate the uh, estimated infected individuals so another uh, um, uh, method we are using different control chart so why we are using control chart why uh, why it's important for us so exponential weightage moving average generally people are using this type of control chart for this uh, monitoring the uh, you know for the stock market to prediction for that stock going to high low or some kind of trend analysis so at here uh, uh, beauty of that uh, EWMA uh, method control chart is that we are giving maximum weightage to more recent data, uh, data points and compute uh, exponential for the earlier uh, you know, previous uh, data points by giving less weightage. So it means uh, in uh, infectivity of uh, SARS-CoV, it's this kind of um, control chart is perfectly works for us you know the, like giving high weightage of current data points current viral load and estimate the previous data points so and uh, the control chart uh, limit we compute by using that one and uh, that at here m is mean uh, for that and ucla and lcla is our upper control limit and lower control limit and we are using this uh, control chart for developing early warning system so how it works for uh, in bangalore so we uh, initially we want to uh, fix it th that like seven days uh, time lag or four days lag like, time lag it's uh, perfect to monitor for uh, in the bangalore so we found that like uh, seven days uh, lag is also enough to uh, provide that uh, early warning signal in throughout the whole city and the sixth month of period, you know, um, 
it's also enough to uh, study in the particular uh, area or two months three months so our approach is works perfectly and we run that uh, ewm analysis and you see that like uh, for estimated infected individual is showing uh, the blue line sided line is showing that our mean and dotted line is uh, upper control limit for estimated infected individual so those points lie in between two uh, blue sided line and dotted line it's uh, showing early warning signal so it means that like above the, the mean we are considering as a threshold so above the threshold uh, those point are line that we are saying that like in this time we need to monitor and that uh, infection is going high or low we don't know but we need to monitor so above the dotted line dotted the blue line it means you know upper control limit and so the data points or trajectories lie above that uh, uh, the dotted line it means that like our uh, the points are uh, data points is out layer data points it means we need to uh, it's major concern right now and we need to high risk uh, uh, infection is going on and we need to monitor and take uh, control measure for that aspect and similar type we run for that uh, uh, different uh, normalized viral load raw viral load so and uh, you see the like red one is uh, trajectory is showing that our co clinical covid positive cases that one is also threshold is uh, uh, red uh, solid line and dotted line is our uh, upper control limit and you see the like uh, when our uh, estimated infected is showing red alert that time uh, clinical cases is showing uh, early warning signal but in aspect of four days lag it's showing both are uh, red alert in during the period time and we found interesting results at here by using seven days lag uh, we uh, our threshold across uh, the threshold of uh, city wide you know covid positive case so above that uh, number of 200 uh, 47 it means across uh, that threshold it means we need to monitor citywide cases uh, about 247 it means we need to monitor and our uh, estimated infected individual uh, near about 23000 its uh, cases per week uh, we need to monitor for that and uh, provide the early detection 14 days in wastewater this detection uh, we found uh, 14 days earlier in compared to clinical cases so 14 days is enough time to take uh, control measure in particular local area and uh, in the city wide also in that aspect of uh, four days uh, we found uh, uh, that uh, red alert uh, upper control limit is you know the 14803 cases for cases four days and uh, that a red alert uh, uh, for uh, two th uh, 2300 cases uh, per four days so it means that when the threshold is crossed it means we need to take inform to local government immediately and they take uh, necessary action so early detection by eight eight days in wastewater we detected here uh, in four days lag so in bangalore we have very good setup we have very every information available for in aspect of particular stp wise uh, that flow information local world wide uh, population information and uh, you know the like very good support from government after that we are uh, able to predict that thing so we uh, correlate that found that correlation is very good and we have patient correlation is showing that at here also in that aspect of four days and uh, seven days lag both times correlation is very strong correlation in, uh, between estimated infected individual and covid positive cases so now i am moving to local stp wise so i am considering three examples at here how is our early warning system perfectly works for all type of different size of stps so i am considering uh, first is uh, kc valley uh, stp that one is you know 248 megaliter capacity 
and uh, nearest uh, near by population uh, surrounding this stp is uh, 20 uh, near about 25 lakhs people staying and you see that uh, we uh, compute our ewn analysis that one is trajectory is showing in uh, blue line and uh, black line is solid, solid line is threshold and we uh, estimate uh, infected individual based on this viral load and you see that like during that uh, january time it's red alert and our estimate infected is also showing red alert during that period time so in uh, july month it's showing uh, high uh, you know red alert and uh, the trajectory is going also high uh, tending to uh, in uh, reaching to high and also so in compared to uh, normalized viral load our estimate uh, infected individual also is perfectly compute and we provide that uh, this information to local government body and it's uh, seen in this table also and in during the period time uh, the red one is denoted is red alert and the orange one is denoted a early warning signal so compare with this uh, analysis during period of january you see that like we, uh, during that time is delta wave and uh, that time is showing red alert and uh, how many uh, people are inf uh, infected uh, estimated persons are infected during that period of time near about 50000 in uh, population 2% population is infected uh, in that particular uh, nearby this stp and we estimate and uh, that one is you know the like see june uh, 22 uh, is showing that like uh, near about 226 uh, numbers infected and uh, that one is indicate if uh, that threshold is crossed then we still um, continuously monitor and uh, computing this uh, estimated person infected and provide this uh, information to local government body. and the things is that you know the, like uh, we identify the emerging uh, variants also in compared to our uh, statistical and uh, mathematical anal uh, analysis we have found that like uh, different type of uh, variants right here and that variants is you know the, like uh, particular uh, stp wise we provide to local government and they compare with to the nearest uh, clinical uh, testing centers and found that like this is information is matching or not so that one is also important you know the, like uh, new virus uh, are detect uh, through wastewater in compared to clinical samples is at least two months earlier so now i am uh, going to talk about middle you know the like uh, average size of uh, stp that one you know near about 35 megaliter water capacity that one is name is uh, agrima and our analysis is perfectly works for this stp also and that sounding in the table is also uh, denote red uh, red alert and early warning signal for uh, by color represent and we estimate that like uh, during the end of uh, june it's showing red alert and that one is representing at here also and we found that uh, major variants in aspect to this particular uh, stp so a beauty of this analysis you know the, like uh, it's perfectly works and this analysis uh, 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 our former director professor suresh uh, subramani it's impressed with our results and implement this uh, uh, this early warning system for san diego also and they are also using our approach to monitor SARS CoV and another for another pathogen. So it's very, very uh, small size STP is also our analysis is perfectly works. So that one is uh, size is 50, uh, 1.5 megaliter. And uh, nearby people are surrounding is staying in this uh, STP is 15,000. And our uh, perfectly our approach is working perfectly and you see the link table also we uh, compute every day uh, you know the, like when we go sample in weekly and we estimate that one and represent and we identify that uh, genomic variants also that one is also uh, it's not concerned of uh, small size uh, large size or middle size stp 
so that one is the beauty of our analysis and perfectly works for and implement in uh, california in two places san diego and uh, santa clara in clara county so in compared to our genomic uh, surveillance in compared to clinical samples and wastewater samples so left side is uh, denoting you see that like uh, in our wastewater samples how many um variants we identify the like so multiple variants and uh, in clinical uh, samples we identify very few one that one is you showing that like one a green is uh, da2 and that one is you see that in compared to both uh, lineages uh, and found in, in compared to uh, clinical cases we found multiple variants that one so it's helping to identify that any concerned variant and any causing in the clinical so earlier two months we identify and compare with this uh, information to uh, uh, who declare any concerned variant also it's up applicable for example in uh, ba2.75 such kind of uh, variant is uh, dangerous for us so uh, who declare is uh, harmful for us so that kind of variants if uh, detect in wastewater we immediately inform to um, local government so you see that like uh, it's look like a very <laughs> complex network so main thing is that we need to identify local hot spot area so our uh, bbmp commissioner dr tilok chandra uh, sir told us you know the, like so your analysis is perfectly works for uh, stp wise we need to information for ward wise also so you see that like uh, this is the sewage network and based on this sewage network wastewater flow direction so that one is represented in red one it's uh, not visible but you know notice that like how much uh, you know it's very complex network network and based on this network we uh, estimate the like you know like surrounding identify the catchment ward wise area so that one is uh, representing at here i will show that how it's uh, look like so that the sewage network you know the like v valley the previous slide is v valley so v valley is uh, represented here in red color uh, and i will show that like how it's uh, computing so we are using google earth and uh, that coordinate and uh, that information based on that uh, our analysis with ha and take help from uh, local uh, sewage board and they help to us to identify the like, local catchment area and uh, that one is perfectly works so i already stored this uh, project uh, for so you see that like this is the how it works uh, so i will so so particular uh, area we represent at here uh, so this is a red one is v valley and v valley we represent at here the v valley is the stp is at here and uh, you all uh, denoted a red word uh, red color words is under that this v valley v valley size is near about uh, um uh, 180 megaliter capacity and uh, 18 lakh people are uh, staying surrounding this area and uh, that another uh, we talk about uh, lal bag that one is at here and kc valley is at here and that uh, pink color uh, is denoted is for that uh, kc valley so similar type we are under that uh, ticks is under that ward number nine it's under the uh, hebal capis uh, hebal stp so we identify based on that uh, sewage network uh, so in further so main thing is that you know like uh, which stp is showing uh, red alert we and we monitor to genomic variant also so both information we shared with the local government body and they uh, goes into local ward wise clinicals uh, testing centers we check with the uh, results and that they found a like particular hot spot area with help with the uh, clinical samples so current status so <laughs> so it's you know like see that last uh, we in uh, every year in india delhi bangalore and every city is showing that like so, so many uh, you know nowadays also people are infected from covid 
so we identified that like in april 20 to uh, 24 to april uh, 26 so our uh, 10 28 sampling sites out of 28 27 is positive in last week also it's 27 in this week we are also computing and that one viral load we are representing in the bicolor wall that red one is showing very high viral load and uh, it's uh, is uh, last color you know the, like representing low viral load so based on our uh, continuously monitoring analysis our recent news on may uh, 9 2023 that one is in time economics times so on times that one is saying that like covid 19 is endemic uh stays still need to monitor viral load and new variants so um, we uh, identify that like uh, what's going on that ground level and uh, because that lack of testing right now also people, uh, government not uh, just uh, recommending so much testing that uh, government recommending for wastewater surveillance to do and perfectly monitor if uh, wastewater is showing uh, high uh, alert then red alert then they are monitoring so we identify recently this uh, certain peak in compared you see that like january time it's very high viral load and we have um, you know that time is delta variant it's uh, causing so many uh, problem so we also monitor it here so much high variant but people are uh, uh, you know uh, vaccinated and immunity is also so developed and uh, concern variant is also not uh, effective and uh, our based on that uh, our continuously uh, analysis the news is in uh, the hindu in on my six so so that one uh, we inform to how it's uh, data to policy and we uh, first time we can uh, conduct small sense making workshop with the local government body that one is uh, bbmp we called uh, bangalore mahanagar palika and may 4th 2020 and based on our uh, we present our analysis and convince to special health commissioner and uh, he, by profession he is doctor he understand what is the importance of uh, our analysis then uh, based on that one our analysis is uh, you know the like implement immediately and uh, every week we are sharing the reports and uh, i'm recently part of that uh, bangalore uh, uh, science and technology concern we have very good team and people multiple people are uh, you know combined one place and working on different uh, uh, problems with the different uh, expertise so art park is also under that isc bangalore we have uh, uh, collaboration with nasa and nasa is sharing with our uh, satellite image so ground level population density and water flow information based on that one is helping to our uh, analysis how is going then and uh, that this event is uh, one health uh, one year prison health surveillance initiative that one uh, the facility event uh, conducted by local government they facilitate to us and uh, covid war team and then these are new uh, recently news so what is the key finding based on our analysis so we successfully develop early warning system and uh, that one uh, it's helping to detect uh, 8 to 14 days earlier uh, trend of uh, sars cov in compared to clinical data and we estimate number of infected individuals by using uh, wastewater viral load and our approach is uh, accommodate uh, missing data points and it's very robust and perfectly works and we identify emerging uh, variants of concern up to two months earlier in wastewater in compared to uh, clinical cases we identified two months earlier so that one is also helping to taking local government policy decision and identification of local sport area right now we are working on you know like my micro level you know in ward one left side right side so micro level we are also working right now 
and integrated with healthcare system so we uh, our results is comparing with the clinical samples and it's uh, long term monitoring it's continuously is ongoing so now i'm move on uh, so waste water surveillance for sars covid for open open drain in hyderabad city so we have multiple challenges at here in uh, hyderabad city so hyderabad city you know the like uh, near about 11 uh, million people are staying and we are collecting 20 uh, uh, 20 uh, sites for uh, open drain and this is study i am showing at here uh, more than one year december 21 to december 22 and one of my colleague dr shivrandini uh, lead this study for in aspect of genomic i am lead uh, for mathematical modeling so we don't have such government local uh, support and as we know that like we don't have local government support uh, or come the challenges we are collecting samples from open drain so the samples are more diluted due to environmental factors so high temperature it's also affecting to our uh, samples and uh, also uh, you know the like uh, more rainfall is also dilute our samples so no such uh, surrounding data household data is available what is the water discharge what is the you know level of water in so sometime in open drain so much water is released by the nearest peoples so we don't have such kind of population uh, size information in nearby that uh, or flex um, you know the like sample collection sites so and we uh, manual drainage and uh, catchment mapping is very challenging at here and we uh, Uh, for overcome these challenges you know the, like in india it's uh, through the india is you know multiple cit- cities have very good uh, sewage treatment plants with few one we don't have very good uh, sewage treatment plant mostly cities are dependent on open drains so our uh, early warning system works for uh, very good for sewage treatment plants but we need uh, to focus on open drains also as uh, recommended uh, to local government uh, and they also say, suggest to us uh, focus on that one that one is uh, we are planning to uh, this sop type uh, you know uh, implement in anywhere in india and so work perfectly so in that good aspect we uh, decide some primary objectives so overcome these challenges we uh, you know develop and validate early warning system for open drains also and that one similar type of uh, objective track and uh, the sars covid in hyderabad and provide early warning signal predict the future trend so we are using some kind of uh, forecasting uh, methods at, at here to predict the future points and detect change points uh, so change point uh, it's helping to identify that one is false alarm or true alarm in that certain period of time so uh, and similar integrated uh, healthcare system for long term monitoring and identification of local hot spot area so how it's you know the like see that like in the map we are collecting samples from that uh, in hyderabad in uh, water density area and population density area in represented here so overcome that one challenges we are deciding in using different type of methods uh, very simple methods for uh, statistician person so we uh, using kenan uh, algorithm for to accommodate missing data points and why we are using that one is fast and accurate uh, way to estimating uh, missing data points in compared uh, multiple methods is also available but we found the like kenan is work perfectly for us and uh, that one is uh, based on the nearest uh, data point i estimate uh, on that missing data points so another uh, um, function we are using time lag estimation so we identify that uh, time lag in between two different uh, time series for one is uh, from clinical data and one is wastewater viral load so under that one uh, different type of uh, methods we are using cross classific cross correlation and mean square error and rank correlation 
so another uh, similar uh, exponential weightage moving average we are uh, using at here also and we use uh, quickest change deduction uh, algorithm so we uh, recently uh, discussed with uh, this problem with uh, professor venu Gop uh, gopal from us uh, in university of texas i think and uh, they developed some kind of algorithm so we uh, they discuss with us and uh, they want to share we, uh, our data to developing some uh, protocol in for the taxes uh, so they share with us uh, this information and we based on that algorithm and we uh, using that one to identify that uh, uh, true and false are um, change points basically so in for the forecasting, we are using autoregressive integrated moving average, uh, ARIMA model. Basically, ARIMA model contains three types of functions and one methods. One is autoregression differencing and moving average. So we run uh, auto ARIMA model in our case, and we are taking a logarithm scale so that for uh, differencing param uh, moving average parameter is not works for us. So in this, this the see that time series uh, for that viral load uh, and uh, clinical COVID positive cases for Hyderabad for over the period time, and you see that like blue line trajectory showing that very high spike in compared to clinical samples, and that one is uh, you know the like representing during that period time it's so uh, high infection in the city. So as such, we don't have information of uh, population density in surrounding the that sample collection size. So we are considering only no, uh, viral load uh, on copies, uh, 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 RNA copies ML. So in our, after that to overcome that so many challenges, our uh, correlation in between to viral load and COVID positive is also showing uh, positive at here. And we estimate the time lag is one week. So that one is very good uh, for that open range because, um, because uh, you know, the, like we have so many multiple challenges. After that, we uh, time lag we uh, found like one week. So we run that uh, our EW analysis for citywide uh, and we uh, identify that, like, see that similar type of EW analysis showing that. But in compared to EW analysis, we run that QCD analysis, uh, change point deduction. Uh, we also run it here and we uh, deduct multiple change point at here. And I'm considering only just like uh, upward uh, um, direction change points. And that one is representing that here in uh, by red arrow in uh, our EW analysis approach. And that one is in uh, change point analysis plot also and we detect uh, uh, change point on december 27 february 28 june 6 and july and we found that uh, threshold is one and near about 183 copies per ml about that this threshold we need to monitor in particular uh, area and upper control limit is we found the red alert is 716 copies per ml so in compared to clinical cases, so we uh, detect uh, change point at here is two change points, and that one is January 3 and June 13. So you compare with the previous one, our uh, wastewater uh, data, you see that like January 3 means after one week, uh, that change point we detect, and uh, similar our time lag function is also showing one week uh, difference and similarly change point is detected here in june 6 and at here is detected uh, in june 13 so is one week time lag and another uh, different multiple change point that one for february 28 for february 28 is deduct and after that you see the like uh, after change point is showing red alert also in that plot and that one is close the upper control limit so it means that time surrounding that time that infection that one is not uh, detected in uh, clinical cases due to some uh, lack of testing or uh, some uh, another reasons so we um, basically our uh, conclusion is that you know like 
this chain point analysis is also helping to identify the like false alarm true alarm in the long term uh, aspect so for further we go for uh, forecasting uh, you know forecast for uh, uh, by using arima model for one month and two month so and we tell uh, we validate that our uh, accuracy of that model is also very good and not showing that here because this work is uh, unpublished right now is under review so uh, we uh, that one uh, dotted the blue line is showing that like uh, uh, the forecast trend and the shaded region uh, blue is saying uh, light blue is showing a 95% interval and light region is 80% interval and that trajectory is perfectly forecast for one month and two month so our con not concern for two months we are perfectly forecast for 15 days or one month and that one is also enough for uh, particular for sars cov -8. So now come on local hotspot area. So in that where we collect uh, samples, we, uh, uh, you know, like local hotspot area is also we analyze and we found that like uh, it's showing perfectly and our EWM analysis is showing early warning in both trajectory. You see that link RC ready local open drain site and showing red alert above the threshold. And that period of uh, August or is showing red alert also during the period time. Similarly, for Musi River, it's showing red alert and uh, that early warning signal. So the key finding for that uh, and future goals for this particular study for so we successfully uh, validate and develop uh, early warning system similar for uh, sewer treatment plant for open drains also and we uh, found that uh, seven days earlier trained in wastewater in compared to clinical cases and we found uh, uh, positive correlation in uh, in in between to open drain viral load and uh, covid positive cases and uh, our uh, arima model uh, using arima model we perfectly predict future trend also and uh, change point, multiple change point we detect, and that one is helping to our analysis. And local identification of local hotspot area, we also identify that one is showing red, uh, red alert or early warning. And this information, last object, uh, last uh, term is uh, we are working, but you know, like local, due to local government support, is uh, that one is not. Uh, implement on ground level in hyderabad actually so enclosement for thank you our director to continuously support for such kind of study and um, for bangalore uh, wastewater Sur surveillance for genomic this is team vikas and pradeep collecting uh, every week samples namarta doing for uh, bioinformatic analysis this is uh, guy doing for rtpcr for uh, Sivar engineer led uh, from that uh, Hyderabad surveillance, and these are two collaborators from N uh, NCBS and Biomed. And Arpit is working with me, uh, and we have very good support from CS board and uh, uh, local uh, um, Nagar Palika. And we have funding from Tata Trust and uh, Rockwell Villa, and we have collaborator with CCMB also Hyderabad. So. Thank you. Any questions?